Welcome back to the 46 Dodge pickup project. Just to quickly recap, in our last video, we drained all the old fuel out of the tank, changed the filters, uh, did the plugs, wires, cleaned under the distributor cap, opened up the carburetor, cleaned out the bowl, cleaned out the floats, uh, that sort of thing. We tried to get it started, we got it turned over and it wasn't quite starting uh, for us. And so at the end of the last video, we said we were gonna pull the starter motor today. But I think before we dive into the starter, I talked to a few other people and they said, really check that six volt system really well. And so we're gonna look a little bit closer at the points, condenser, get it, make sure we have the gaps right and make sure we got enough spark coming from that coil. So that's gonna be today's project. Here we go. looks pretty good. We already kind of sanded that with some emery paper, but the the gap between this the points should be around 20 thousands. And just visually, it looks like it's more. I mean, it looks like it's much wider. So we got our points gapped properly now. We no longer have that giant gap. So hopefully this should do the trick. But just to be safe, we're gonna replace the condenser. those points they were pretty bad and um, they were actually a little bit loose put a new condenser in and now I think we're going to try and start it so here's try number two Check this out. I couldn't be happier. It seems to run clean and seems to run pretty soundly. It's choked right now, so we're trying to choke it. I'm pretty excited. Now I don't want to run it for too long because I don't have any coolant in it, but it sounds like it runs really well. And um, 
I gotta figure out how to get the idle turned down. But for the most part, um, I think we can move on and start looking at other parts of this. stuck first wheel and we're already off to a rough start the, it's just it's really stuck can't get it to free spin at all and so I'm guessing probably bearings and the shoes are rusted up into the drums so we're gonna try and get it unstuck and here we go center nut I'm still having some trouble getting the that drum loose so I spoke with a guy at DCM Classics Dodges of Central Michigan named Steve and he was really helpful and explained to me kind of how the system worked and that I needed to check some adjusters behind the drum it's like there's one right here there's one on the other side Thanks to Steve, we got our first drum off of here. So let's take a quick look at what we have. Okay, folks, that's gonna wrap up this video. I'm so excited the engine runs now and it runs well. We've gotten the opportunity to jump into the braking system and take off the front drums. Special thanks to Steve at DCM Classics 
for showing me how that adjuster works. It's different from any other drum brake I've seen and it helped me get the shoes backed off so I could pull the drums. So we're gonna take the drums into the parts store, get them turned on the lathe so they're nice and round. We just ordered four wheel cylinders, just ordered a master cylinder. We're probably gonna replace the rubber lines and, and even the steel lines so everything's brand new in the braking system. So we'll have a well-running engine and a well-stopping truck. So thanks for being a part of this. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful week.